See there guys, that's another bit of wood, that's where they like to eat. It's during the day at the minute, so they wouldn't normally be out, but because there's so many, I guess, there's no room for them under the wood, so they're on it. I've also now got these uh, clown isopods and zebra pill bugs. Take this tub and just fill it up with, uh, I've got three Armadillidium vulgare orders, so I'm going to have to start rummaging through. And once I've got them in the tub, we'll have a closer look. And we're back, guys. I'm pretty sure I had my flash on that whole time. Um, because it's on again, it's on this time. But yeah, we've got the tub filled. I've broke off a piece of the sheet back. That's the, uh, to use for, um, for them to cling on to, basically. But as you can see here, uh, the vulgares that I will be sending out today from the master colony. There is scorpions in this tank as well, by the way. Uh, so let me just... There you are, look. Get a close shot of them. But yeah, as you can see again, like the tropical greys or just grey psilolevis there on the bit of wood there's a scorpion living inside there um quite a few pods just chilling down there hiding from the light now um and in that toilet paper tube there's just isopods and just under every single stone and ornament and bit of plastic you see on the underside of that back is quite a few pods but yeah Okay guys, so in here I've just got the sheet moss, um, which I use when I send the isopods, it does the job very well. And here I have three tubs for three orders, and the first thing I need to do is just put holes in the lid, because you never want to forget to do that, because they can't survive more than a day without air holes, so I've been told. As you can see guys, I've just heated up a knife uh, with a flame and then just poked holes in it and because it's quite a big species I have, the holes can be quite big. But if it was a really small species or there were a lot of babies, I would just do pin pricks with a push pin or a drawing pin we call it in the UK. But next you want to get a bit of tissue paper, about four squares folded so that it's in the form of one and then put it into the bottom of the tub because what we want to do is reduce reduce the gap on the side squeezing it to the sides and we'll squeeze it down to sort of prevent prevent them from being able to get around the stuck in sort of the sides if you know what i'm saying so we'll spray the sides down a bit more here see there's now no gaps around the edge of that where the isopods can potentially get trapped. The next bit you want is a bit like this, which you want to sort of roll into a circle into the tub. So I'll try and do it with one hand, but it's not going to be easy. There we go, like that. And then you want to wet that down again and sort of get it stuck to the sides. Right, next we're going to use a little bit of moss on the bottom and then we're going to spray it so that it's damp and then we'll add the isopods for the order. Okay guys, you can see I've got some damp moss in the bottom now. I've sprayed that so that it's damp, but again, it's not dripping or anything, it's just damp. And then the sides and the bottom are, with the paper towel are damp, the bottom's damp. We're gonna put the isopods into the other tub, because then we know how, so we can get the amount we need for the order. Then we're going to put this on top of the isopods for them to rest under. Then we're gonna add some dry, unmoistened moss on top, and then just a slightly moist layer of toilet paper just to plug the top to create a sort of compact, dark, damp environment for them. And they'll have that little dry pocket of, uh, of moss that they can go to if they feel like they're getting too wet, because we already know they're gonna have plenty of moisture. Okay guys, this customer ordered the ones 
specifically with yellow uh, coloring, pattern, uh, etc. You know, these little yellow speckling and coloring on them, you can see. So I've sorted out all of the ones with the most prominent yellow on them for them. So we've got them in this tub with the cardboard so all we have to do now is pour them into this tub add a dry layer of moss add a damp paper towel plug on top to seal it and then put the lid on okay guys the pods are going in Then we're going to quickly add some moss, try and not let any of them climb the sides or get behind the toilet paper on the sides. So as I'm doing this, I'm actually sort of fighting them to stay in and then flick any loose ones in and then quickly plug the top. So there you can see, so now they're in a nice sealed thing. They will be able to get on top of this. Uh, once we've got the lid on, which will give them that little, it'll also give them a little gap at the top that they can choose to go into if they if they get desperate. Because the key thing is they regulate their humidity and temperature through movement, so it's incredibly important for them to have some kind of moving space. So obviously they've got the the damp area at the bottom that you've seen us create, which gives them a place to like a hydration station. Then they've got the bit of cardboard which is almost just for the customer's sake really so they get the experience of flipping the back because who doesn't like doing that and seeing all of them and then you've got the dry layer of moss on top of that which just gives them a dry area for if they think it's too wet they can go there and then you've got the damp paper towel on top uh, which just obviously all the paper towel around the side cushions them so if it gets shaken or anything in transport which it will it should stop them getting damaged and then yeah you've got the lid on and then you've got that little gap at the top which is always going to be there where they could escape into if they decided that everything in there didn't work and they needed to be maybe closer to the air holes for example so yeah that's how I pack my isopod orders from the master colony uh, as you can see here, I've got another two orders to do with these guys. I've got the bugs here for an order of 50 normal ones. And as you can see, there's a lot less yellow going on in here. Like, look at that one there, it's just pure black, pure black. Loads of just pure black ones, but obviously he wouldn't have passed. He would not have passed the test. You see? Clearly no black at all. I mean, no yellow at all on him. And that's them there, 120 pods ready to go. I've put 20 on that one just so I remember that's the 20 yellow ones. Just need to tape the lids down like I've done with this one. And then label them, wrap them in bubble wrap, put them in the envelope, label the envelope and decorate the envelope and then take them to the post office. Now I'm just printing out my, um, like the note I put in with the packages. Now that we've got the tub labelled up with the uh, name of the pod in the, in the box, you want to wrap it up with bubble wrap, which basically protects it from changing temperature too quickly. And then obviously now I'll fold the sides below it and tape them and then it will be completely sealed and it will be protected from temperature change and if it's thrown around it will protect it a little bit as well. There we go, we've got them all bubble wrapped. And that's them all packed up. You see I've covered the addresses with a bit of uh, paper but you can see I just put fragile sticker. Um, some stickers of bugs and their address well not bugs they're actually lizards these ones uh, and then on the rear side 
we have the branding 